I started playing table tennis um, as a very young person back in 1976 is when I started playing competition in weekly pennant. This was in Victoria in the Croydon and Districts Table Tennis Association. Uh, I eventually uh, met Paul, married Paul, moved to Sydney and continued playing table tennis in Sydney as well. But while I was in Victoria, um, I got involved running tournaments, uh, actually with um, Ron and Fran Keogh. Officiating, I didn't do my state umpires course until 2003 in Sydney. And I did that with a group of table tennis friends because we were all in a tournament committee together running the St George and Sutherland Shire Open Championships. And we wanted to learn more about the rules and it wasn't necessarily that we wanted to, to start umpiring, we just wanted to have a clearer idea of the, of the rules. So it was 2013, um, Stephen Gillespie was looking for umpires for a tournament at Sydney Olympic Park. So I went along and um, participated in that as, a, as an umpire. Enjoyed the experience. So I set about re-qualifying as a state umpire in 2013. Um, and then last year, 2022, finally received my Blue Badge um, umpire award or umpire status, I should say, which is a, um, an international umpire level. So it's been 10 years that I've been officiating. In that time, I've umpired at two Commonwealth Games, uh, 2018 on the Gold Coast and last year, 2022 in Birmingham. Both wonderful experiences to be involved in, in a big event like that. Also been to Portugal to umpire in the Portugal Open. Um, and recently I was selected to, to umpire at the Paris 2024 Paralympics next year. So really looking forward to that. The rewarding part is when you're at a big event and you're part of the officials team, you know, it's working together as a team um, to help run this successful tournament. And of course, the umpires are only one element of the successful running of a tournament, but they're an important element. And so it's very satisfying to, to work together as a team and to um, help to put on a good tournament, to put on a good show. That's the rewarding part. You also get to see some damn good table tennis. Um, as Scott Houston used to always say, it's the best seat in the house. That was the, the phrase he liked to use when trying to encourage some officials. And it, it truly is the best seat in the house. The only, the, the challenging part about being in the best seat in the house is that you can't applaud and enjoy the match openly. You've got to keep it all um, under wraps. I guess what I've enjoyed about being an official, and I've, I've mentioned that already, is that you are part of a team assisting to put on a good event and you become immersed in a big event in a sport that you love that you've got so much out of um, you know as a player to, to be calm to be assertive and keep abreast of the rules which will breed confidence probably the obvious one would be Fran Keogh herself um, although she didn't support me in the officiating capacity I watched her start out as an official and and travel along on her journey as an official and she did some great things um, globally. So did Ron Keogh, her, her husband. Yet they were just the local um, administrators in my association. So to watch them travel upwards on their journey and achieve what they did nationally and, and globally, that, that was um, inspiring, even though I didn't then do anything about being an official until say 2013. But then of course, Stephen Gillespie was the one that invited me into the officiating fold in 2013. So yes, to, to thank him also for doing that at that time. Um, also other people like Graham Island and Alan Hopkins, um, you know, their advice over the years and their support and friendship um, along the way has, has been great. I'd really love it if more people joined the officiating fold and, and